Hello friends, today we will discuss another important topic, neurofibromatosis type 1. Overview Preparation time allotted, 3 minutes. Try to read the scenario again and again to understand it very well before you start. For examination and discussion, 8 minutes allotted. Warning bell will be given at 6 minutes. Total marks allotted, 8. Scenario there could be skin presentation of neurofibromatosis, recurrent convulsions, and it is always autosomal dominant. Introduction. Great, before you start, introduce yourself, define your role and responsibility, wash your hand with sanitizer, and take all the COVID precautions. Ask for consent for examination and exposure. Make rapport by asking small short questions. What is your name? Who is your favorite poster and explain what you are going to do before you start. Look for any dysmorphism, any distress, any dizzy stigmata, measure height, weight, most importantly, head circumference and plot them in growth chart. Look at the surroundings, look for any device or any antipeleptic drugs. Start examination from head, looking at eyes for lesion nodule, optic glioma, and look at the face and look for any splenoid dysplasia. Then come down to neck and look for any thyroid swelling because medullary carcinoma is very frequently associated and look for any VP shunt present there or not. Then examination of skin. Look for any axillary freckling as well as inguinal freckling. Count the capillary spots present and measure their dimension and look for any neurofibroma. If it is present, what type of it is and is there any plexiform neurofibroma present there or not. Then start CNS examination by examination of gait, cranial nerve examination, motor system examination, sensory, cerebellar signs, assessment of higher function and in order to finish examination, don't forget to measure head circumference because it is very important examination of spine because kyphosis scoliosis could be associated examination of cvs system because sometimes coarctation of iota is associated and 3d pulse could be present examination of abdomen because renal arterial stenosis pheochromocytoma and wills tumor may be present and examination of genitalia to rule out any precocious puberty. Look for uh, any tibial bowing and don't measure, uh, forget to measure vitals. Clinical diagnosis of neurofibromatosis type 1 based on presence of two of the following. Six or more caffeolate macule over 5 mm in pubertal setting and over 15 millimeter in greatest diameter min, diameter in post pubertal individual two or more neurofibroma of any type or one plexiform neurofibroma freckling in axillary or inguinal region two or more leash nodule which are iris hematomas and any optic glioma any distinctive or osseous lesions like sphenoid dysplasia thinning of long bone cortex with or without pseudoarthrosis and as because it is autosomal dominant so first degree relative could be involved key points what are the investigation we need to consider mri for, to rule out any meningioma ependymoma and astrocytoma management is always multidisciplinary thank you